Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sunesh and we are playing Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah, so we are doing here uh, side ops where there are some modern base soldiers that... I think they are referring for the ground zero uh, soldier. And yes, if I sound weird and out of sync of the gameplay, it's because this is a post commentary. Uh, somehow I managed to lose my microphone track, so yeah. We're trying to do without uh, <laughs> this. <laughs> and here I kind of realized that I was going in a complete wrong direction. <laughs> so yeah. So we are on our way back here. There is a truck here. I'm actually not remembering what has happened in this. I think I decided uh, to activate this soldier so I could get some clue on what uh, going on here. So yeah, I, I, st I didn't have time to do anything more uh, clever than just place myself on the road. So. Or I just get greedy <laughs> I can't remember what I done. Okay, yeah, I equip my gun. I think I'm gonna interrogate him for the information for the mission. Talk. Which didn't tell where are your friends. So I just balloon him out of there. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Enemy prison detected. The map has been updated. Okay, so uh, my intel team uh, found our objective and placed uh, the threat there, so let's uh, make our way over there. So yeah, carefully moving on. I remember this because this was a really weird mission. I'm trying to stay out of the line of sight, that's why I crawl behind, around, around the corners because that makes me harder to spot when I turn another corner, so that's why I'm careful here. And I thought that was a crack, but it wasn't. And once again I'm crawling here, yeah, just to avoid being getting spotted right away. And we are in the red circle where our uh, objective so is supposed to be. And we have something there. I remember that this is super freaky, looking at him go, he's so damn fast, but at least he didn't attack us. And I think uh, maybe it remembers, uh, this is supposed to be one of the old Mother Base soldiers, so maybe he remembers a big boss. Or So it seems like this guy will run from us if we not uh, approach him very sneaky so we can kind of kidnap him because otherwise he will just run like he did. And that was, he was a fast runner at least. And we have a beer. That could be a good thing to keep track of. 
Analysis That's complete. the target. Is that one of our men from nine years ago? Bring him home, boss. So I'm gonna try to shoot him through the gr uh, gr grass there, but uh, it's not a sure, uh, shot to shoot through the grass because often it's something it snags on. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't doesn't. But uh, I think I will try to go for a body shot, but he seems special, this guy. Trying to, uh, I, I'm aiming a bit above him because the tranquilizer gun has a re reach about 30 meters, and then it will have a drop, a ballistic drop. So, so that's why I can aim a bit high on him. But I'm hoping that I think the last darn shot actually worked, or maybe I will try to get him again. Still have the beer to remember. Uh, he seems quite immune, so I think I went. Would, would, would gonna try to take a takedown on you, but as you can see, he is quite a fighter. But we, we got this guy marked, so we don't really have to worry that he's gonna disappear on us. And that's really weird, I think I got a headshot there or something because we got him. So that was our uh, sign up of this uh, strange man that was really fast and hit you very hard. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna just try to uh, run myself out of the area of operation and then extract myself to the helicopter. I just learned that trick uh, a couple of missions ago and uh, that... Oh yeah, I understand. I decided uh, to take over this outpost because we are... There was a, a small mission and they are right here. But I can't remember wh uh, my approach, uh, what I thought and I'm gonna think. Uh, probably I'm gonna mark everyone uh, and uh, try to go get around and uh, I will probably g get beyond some high ground uh, above complete. this encampment. Analysis so that is complete. probably where I would go if I know myself. Because uh, if you can see, the, 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 they are facing us with the lights and stuff, and everyone is facing at that direction, so uh, do a frontal assault is not a uh, good I think. Okay, I'm trying a very hard shot, I think, or not. Yeah, I decided it was too tough for shot. So yeah, I would probably go. Marker removed. Marker placed. Yes, Marker placed. <laughs> I will swing around. So yeah, that is kind of my favorite plan all the time. Uh, try to find a weak point and then attack them from behind. Here I am running. So I will stay out of their light here, and then I will go up there and probably... As you can see, it's quite an easy task if you find the right approach to approach an encampment. You usually have one weak point like here. Uh, we have the high ground and they will probably not look up. Uh, they probably never, almost never look up, so it is a good best point if you can get above them. 
Now I'm just gonna try and kill everyone. And yeah, that, that is my favorite move. I like to body shot because the delay, that way you can take out multiple enemies and it is quite easy to shoot three of them in a fairly fast order and just wait until uh, my shoot delay and they will fall asleep. I'm just gonna extract any equipment I can find. You gonna extract him? Awesome. Oh yeah. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna go try and just to look a go and until I get the checkpoint. As soon as I get the checkpoint, I can go go into the pass menu and go directly to the helicopter. That is one of the things I've learned, and that was one of the things I tried to do. That way I don't have to call a shopper or anything. Now when does I have a gutman checkpoint? I'll use the stars menu and go on to here. And that was everything there, my dear friends. And as always, thank you for watching.